Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am the mighty motherfucking Pete, and I am here with. What up? It's your boy J Kid. And we're here to talk about the conference that Nintendo has bestowed upon us the Nintendo Switch. The most electrifying, most devious device that has been bestowed upon us by Nintendo itself. The greatest gift on God's green earth is Nintendo Switch. Let's talk about this presentation. The presentation starts with a concert. They had a music jamming, you know? It was like a slow little chill vibe before the, the, the countdown of the uh, of the presentation. I definitely wanted to be drinking sake over there and uh, jamming out. Drinking sake? Well, I don't know all about sake because sake <laughs> is actually served warm. Honestly, I was spooked the fuck out. Everybody was quiet as fuck. I, I thought I thought it was about to be a fucking seppuku ceremony. Like somebody's about to commit suicide right then and there. <laughs> Nobody was saying anything. Every everybody was in a suit. All you saw was flashing lights. I'm like, does the DJ know that nobody is in party mode? And not to be racist, but all I saw was this. So I was like, can he even see the disc? First off, I got to apologize to Marv because the Suda51 uh, presentation was given and the translator did not do his job very well. And I said on a live stream that um, he wasn't selling me the game. He's really not selling me anything. Which Marv was heartbroken. I mean, that it's easy for uh, indie developers to create a game. I'm sorry, Marv. Do you forgive? Do you forgive me? He's he's proposing. He's proposing. You can't cut off my voice. I'm in, I'm in between voices. You won't be able to do it. All right. So going back to what the presentation was about, it first started off with the system. The system was honestly it, it's adaptable. That's what they're getting at. They they want you to be able to take this experience and show it to your friends that I, I believe that's the whole marketing strategy the marketing strategy if you're a nintendo fan you're basically marketing the system itself by simply bringing the system anywhere you go and showing your friends oh hey here's a nunchuck here come play with me blah 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 blah, blah. there's a docking system where you just simply put the the main screen down and you can either put it on the Joy-Con, which is you grab those two sticks and you slap it on the remote. And it makes it very simple to have the, the two pieces comfortably on the remote. Or you could go with the Pro remote, which honestly, I would just go with the simple Pro remote. Because yes. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable with a stick down here so mm. close to my thumb. I feel as though as those four buttons would honestly, the way my thumb moves, I, I could see myself accidentally hitting the right stick. I could see that and then it was going to fuck something up. And I don't want to deal with that. So, so far, honestly, so good. The only thing I am upset is you'll see this picture right here. The picture I'm pointing at is the sadness that I've I've been revealed of a Mario Kart um, presentation where the small ass screen. It's already bad enough. You're squinting like one of them. You're, 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 you're already <laughs> blind just trying to focus on a fucking small screen to play <laughs> Mario Kart. And the fucking screen is already blocked off on four blocks. Split screen. <laughs> there's split screen. The faggots on the left, the faggots on the right, the other <laughs> faggots in front of me. Why the fuck do I need to see his screen? Are you fucking insane? I pray to God that that is not the finalization. Otherwise, my blood pressure is going to keep going up. <laughs> because as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, there is no way in fucking hell I am going to take that fucking system and play Mario Kart in a goddamn picnic table because that's where it was in a picnic, picnic table, table in a picnic table <laughs> and, and fucking play split screen mario kart and go <laughs> i have my left corner my left corner <laughs> says first place i will now bring honor to my family yes I Rosami must. <laughs> so they introduced this thing called hd rumble on the joy cons it's pretty cool i actually like the presentation that they have with a cup of ice you know just one ice two ice three ice now pour yourself water. It makes me thirsty now. You guys just made me thirsty. I, I like the fact that they actually like compressed all the technology from the past. Like they grabbed the N64 Rumble and they brought it back, you know, and this time they actually improved the Rumble features. So, so like, I hope it really does feel like a cup of ice and some water is being poured into it because I don't want to just hear coming from the remote, the water coming down. Yeah. I would exactly. be so pissed. I'm like, is this the water that they poured down all the way from Tokyo? 
Actually, GameStop will get a restock <laughs> of at least 20 systems at that exact same moment. You're going to see why the box is wet, basically. And then we'll be like, what is this? Oh, that came all the way from Japan. It was a block of ice. It, it used to be. All you're going to see <laughs> is nothing but white and black boxes in GameStop <laughs> saying, saying Nintendo Switch. I can see all the cosmetics. price 250. <laughs> I can Stocks plummet. <laughs> Nintendo in danger. I can see all the box cosmetic damage on the box. And just My like retirement fund paint. has gone to shit. Now, can we talk about the resolution on the uh, tablet compared to TV? Uh, the resolution is 720p on the tablet. And the resolution on the TV is 1080p. Honestly, like when it comes to the resolution off the tablet, when I see a movie, like I said before, on my phone, off a show box, it's always 720. Mm -hmm. So 720 is honestly a decent level of yeah, HD it's definition. Decent. It's decent. And then or, when it comes to, oh, yeah, and then decent. when it comes to the 1080p, most TVs that actually do 4K resolution, there's just no point to it. The video technology out there doesn't even support 4K. They just recently released. 4k ps4 and 4k xbox fit even still all the video games can't support that format so to me that's irrelevant the fact that they have 1080p now connecting to a tv is it's just fine it's just fine like that like like basically as far as graphics I, after seeing it too. go down it's all you really need graphics are there all you have to worry about is the games and honestly there were some games in there that were just magnanimous just I like, magnanimous i like that you said 720 is decent it is decent it is decent and it's good it's a good quality that's how you're watching us right exactly 720 it's, uh, 1080 oh we're at 1080 oh, Either, see, there you it, go. it depends on your computer we're, we're too sexy but that's how you're watching us we're, we're too 1080, sexy 720 we're too you know? we're too sexy to be seen on 720 that's what it is look With at those guns Look at Let's that. Go. Look at that. Look at all that fur. This guy's built for winter. So going back to the games, the amiibos are still a thing. You can actually put them on the stick and you can actually simply upload it that way. It's no, it's no longer a simple square on the Wii U. You just stab it on the stick and it just uploads. Yeah. And, and that to me is a good thing because there's a bunch of people that I already know that have been collecting amiibos like if it was a religious yeah, event. Pretty much. It, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> there you go. There's going to be an online subscription on the Nintendo Switch. It's, the price is not known yet. Uh, how, you know, three months or one year. It's not really known yet. But it is to develop their online server because the Wii U really didn't have that much online capability. You know, Smash was a success, but I feel like all their efforts wasn't smashed for online and everything else is like fucked. So we don't know the price on that. We don't know. You know, they didn't tell us anything about that, but we will know soon in the future. I'm kind of alright with it. If it's gonna fix the community of the of the online system, like everyone's the net codes, doing it already. yeah, er, everyone's doing it already too. And so I I get the trend. Uh, hopefully, I didn't have to buy in a subscription just to play a game, but yeah, to to give it a better online system, I will go for it. They have to go for like seventeen ninety nine at least for three months or something lower because it does it wouldn't require can, that much can, money to I do. I can that. already see it. They're gonna jump on the bandwagon for $60 a month for I mean $60 for an entire oh, no. year for oh, not. that's gonna be terrible I want them to have like a lower lower uh, price range on that because I don't think the Nintendo work it you know the online system would be worth $60 for a year I think that's too much I think it, you should lower it down to what it was on PlayStation like $50 at least or $40 a year and like $10 for three months. That would actually like that. buy out the parents. They'd be like, oh, this one's actually $50 for a whole year. Yeah. <laughs>